Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So it's been a long time since I've shown you guys anything I've made for my wedding. So I thought I'd give you a bit of an overview on what I have been making and roughly how I've been doing it. This isn't going to be a full tutorial. If there is anything you see that you do want a full tutorial on, I can definitely do that for you. So if you want to see what I've been making, then just keep watching. Alright, so the first thing I've made is a coat hanger, and obviously I haven't made the coat hanger, I bought the coat hanger, uh, but I've made the vinyl decals thanks to my new Cricut maker, and I need to send a gigantic thank you to Cricut because they've been really great to me um, through, through this whole wedding process. Um, there's a lot of things that they've given me that has just really helped along the way, as well as a lot of advice, um, so thank you very much to Cricut for that. Uh, but this is just made using just some adhesive vinyl. Yes, I know I've got my nails done, it looks weird. Um, and I've just written bridesmaid on there. At this point, it hasn't sort of scrunched up or been hit or bumped or anything. So I didn't feel the need to seal it. But if you were going to use this like as an everyday coat hanger, that's probably what you would do. Um, but I think it, it feels really nice. It was actually really easy to do um, once you got the sizing right. Um, and I think I just bought the coat hanger. I think it was from Big W. So that's my... Uh, my bridesmaid coat hanger. I've obviously made one for my maid of honour and I've also made one for myself. So they're all ready to go. Well, we're talking about bridesmaids. The other thing that I've made is for my bridesmaid and my maid of honour, I've made this big box. So it does come with a bottom, which has just got a bunch of other stuff in it right now. So it comes in a box. The box is from Spotlight. I will link it down below so you can go and check it out if you want to. Again, just written on here with adhesive vinyl. I have found out since I probably should have used heat transfer vinyl, would have transferred onto the wood a bit easier, but I didn't, so oh well. Um, I have also put the name of my bridesmaid on there, and same thing with my maid of honor, she's got her name on there as well. Really easy to do, the vinyl cuts really nicely, and I got all this vinyl from Scat Cats uh, here in Melbourne, which I'll link down below as well. Really awesome sort of putting that together. And then I have this big box here. So things that I've made, I'm spoiling a little bit of my wedding here. So if anyone who's watching is coming to my wedding, my sister, Sammy, go away. Um, this is gonna spoil some of some of the things that are coming. Um, so I have made these little, these are my number, my table numbers. So in our family, we, my grandma taught us how to play a game called Frustration, which seems to be a card game that people know under lots of different names, but we call it Frustration. Um, so card games has always been something really big in my family. So I decided that I'd make um, So these are going to sit in the centerpieces of my I'm making pots, which I'll show you later as well um, Not in this video. It'll have to be another one um, So it's going to sit in there. That's just is just a bamboo stake that we've spray painted with black chalkboard paint I just wanted the matte finish. I don't actually want to write on it in chalk and then I've just stuck some extra large cards on there. I think they were two dollars from a cheap shop and I just picked red because I wanted the two of hearts or the ace of hearts or whatever it is. So the, the heart side will show but the other side won't. Uh, what else have I got in this big box? Uh, so I made these again using vinyl um, and this is adhesive one and I haven't sealed this one either. I don't know how it'll work if I wash it but I'm not planning on putting this through a dishwasher or anything. Uh, so I've just got bright on there and then I've got my name. Uh, I've obviously made one for my bridesmaid, my maid of honour, I made one for my mum, and I also made one for Ryan's mum, I think. Um, the glasses are from Ikea, really cheap, and then the, the vinyl's from Scat Cats. What else do I have in this box? Oh, there we go, there's another one. So that one's the bridesmaid one, so it's got Amanda's name on there. So before I pull out the very last item, whoops, nearly got my nail. Uh, this one's going to look a bit funny because it's obviously not assembled and, and looks a bit odd because it's got the plastic over the top. So this is actually a greenhouse from Ikea. I will link it for you. Uh, and I've just put advice and wishes on here with the same vinyl I've actually used on the bridesmaids boxes. And it's just going to, it turns into a bit of a, a wishing well kind of thing. So people can put their cards, they can put their, if they've given us a gift, they can put that in there. Or they can just put a little thing that has advice on it. It was white. I've spray painted it navy blue. Um, unfortunately, when you're putting it together, it does sort of crack off a little bit, but you don't see it. Um, and like I said, the, the plastic went back on to be able to protect the words, but I think that came up really, really nicely. While I was playing with vinyl, and this was quite possibly the most complicated project I did, 
I have my little ring box. This is actually the ring box that Ryan proposed with. This is where my engagement ring was. Um, and we decided we wanted to use that on the day as opposed to using a new one. So on the day, both of the rings are just gonna live in there. But I did wanna personalize it a little bit. So this is a, a circle leaflet thing, I don't know what you call them, um, off Etsy. And then I've just put RNA on there. Very intricate, very hard to weed that. But I did really enjoy weeding it. And actually I've fallen in love with weeding. I'll, I'll show you something else in a second that's not wedding related that I've enjoyed weeding. I'll just give you a quick glimpse. This is a mandala I've been playing with, um, which I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I have not actually worked that out. So the very last thing, I'm only gonna show you a bit of a sneak peek of because I don't wanna open it in case somebody who is coming to the wedding sees this. Um, so this is our thank you gift. So it's there's gonna be a little lolly table there as well. Um, so people can pick up their own lolly thing. I've got a little Chinese noodle containers that people can choose their own lolly combos. Um, but I wanted to do something really cute and really personal and because we're getting married on a beach, a message in a bottle to me sound seemed like the right thing. Um, so in here, and unfortunately it's lost its little thing which is not a good, good thing, but it's got a little rope that you pull up and the message comes out. And that's actually sand from the beach we're getting married on. I deliberately picked some up the last time we were there. So I have a little bucket with all this sand in it from, from, the, from the beach. Um, and then it's just a ribbon on the bottom. So it's, it's very simple, but I hope it comes off really, really um, personalized and really sort of tenders what I'm, what I'm going for. Cause I really do appreciate everyone that is coming. Um, not using my Cricut for that one. That was just all handmade and a bit of a pain, but I did really enjoy doing it. Uh, but I've really enjoyed all my little things that I've been making. There obviously are still a few more um, that are coming along the way and I will show you those um, probably after the wedding for all these ones but these ones are ones that I could certainly share now. If there is something that you would like a proper tutorial on let me know. Um, I wouldn't mind getting my Cricut out and showing you guys on camera how I make some of these vinyl decals. Um, can do it on the computer and then can knock it over to the Cricut and show you how it's done. I really 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 appreciate everything that Cricut did. This isn't a sponsored video but it is a very much a, a thank you video for everything they did. Um, because they really did go out of their way to help me out with a lot of these things. So thank you very much again to Cricut. Thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Don't forget to be subscribed and don't forget to leave below which one of these projects you'd like to see a full tutorial on. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias and pop over to my website if you want to join in with some bits and pieces that are happening over there on the forum. Hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic, fantastic weekend and I will see you for decoration on Monday. Sending you guys lots of huggles. Bye!